This is the 2020 Math Kangaroo Levels 11-12 problem number 27. Wajda took a square piece of paper of side 1 and folded two of its sides to the diagonal, as shown in the image below, obtaining a quadrilateral. What is the area of this quadrilateral? A. 2 minus square root of 2 B. Square root of 2 over 2 C. Square root of 2 minus 1 D. 7 tenths or E. 3 fifths This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test and here is where we'll be doing the solution. So first we want to make sure we know what it is we're looking for. We're trying to find the area of the quadrilateral. Um, in this image I've drawn over here, that quadrilateral is A, E, C, F. And let's remind ourselves, how did we get this quadrilateral? Well, we Wajda folds two of the sides to the diagonal. So B is folded over to point O on the diagonal, and then D is also folded over to point O. And in this in the process, this little piece is folded, that triangle A B E is folded over here to make a O E. And the same thing happens on the other side with this triangle being folded over as so. So why is it, why is um, this important? Well, again, we're trying to find the area of this quadrilateral right here. So in order to find that, we can see that we can take the area of the entire square, A, B, C, D, subtract out the area of triangle A, B, E, and also subtract out area of triangle A, D, F, and we'll be left with the area we're looking for, which is the area of quadrilateral A, E, C, F. So right now, our goal is to find the area of quadrilateral A, B, E, which is equal, sorry, not quadrilateral, triangle A, B, E, which is equal to triangle A, D, F. They're congruent. And after we find the area of that triangle, We'll subtract two times that from the total area of the square and end up with the area that we're looking for. So now let's think about how we're going to find the area of triangle ABE. Well, area is base times height over 2. And we know that AB, the height, we know that this is 1. So really what we want to find is B. E. That's what we currently do not know, but we want to find. And when we think about finding BE, we notice that we can use the angle bisector theorem. Because angle BAC is being bisected, this angle BAE is equal to angle EAC because again as we described earlier when Wajda folds the sides the triangle is basically being reflected triangle BAE is being reflected over line AE and in the process all the angles will remain the same so let's apply the angle bisector theorem. By this, we know that BE over EC is equal to AB over AC. And this must be equal to 1 over square root of 2 
because we know that AB is 1, I guess the sine length of the square, and we know that AC must be square root of 2 because it's the diagonal of the unit square. So next, we can rewrite EC as being BC minus BE because we want everything in terms of BE because, again, that's what we're looking for. And this is nice because we know what BC is. BC is 1, right? That's the entire length, side length of the square. So now we can cross multiply. We get square root of 2 times BE is equal to 1 minus BE. We want to put BE, all the BEs on the same side, combine like terms, factor out the BE to get BE times the quantity of square root of 2 plus 1 is equal to 1. Then we can divide both sides by, by uh, square root of 2 plus 1 in order to isolate BE. And we don't really like to have this irrational number in the denominator, so we can multiply by the conjugate square root of 2 minus 1 on top and bottom to get that BE is equal to square root of 2 minus 1. And this is really nice because now we can find the area of triangle ABE. Again, that's what we're looking for because we want to remove 2 times that from the total area of the square in order to find the area of the quadrilateral. So area of ABE is base times height over 2, which is AB times BE over 2. We know AB is equal to 1 because it's the side length of the square. And we just found what BE is over here. So we have 1 times square root of 2 minus 1 over 2 as area of ABE. And now it's pretty easy for us to find the area of quadrilateral AECF. Again, this is the area of the entire square ABCD minus 2 times the area of triangle ABE, and that's what we just found over here. This is the area of triangle ABE. So just substituting that in, we have the area of the square, which is 1, right, because it's a square root of side 1. And then we have minus 2 times this area over here, so 2 times the quantity of square root of 2 minus 1 over 2. The 2's cancel out nicely. So we'll have 1 minus square root of 2 plus 1. We can combine those two ones together to get 2 minus square root of 2. And we can see that this is answer choice A. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.